As I've mentioned in some of my previous videos, I've introduced an OE monitoring dashboard built with Node-RED and the FlowFuse dashboard. This is the dashboard that shows a summary of the machine OEE. In this example, I have three machines being monitored. From this dashboard, we can easily see the current machine status. If the machine group is green, it means the machine is running. If it's red, the machine is in downtime, and if it's white, the machine is off. This dashboard can display up to six machines on a single screen without scrolling. But what if you want to view all of your machines when there are many of them? Well, I have another dashboard for that. Let's take a look. This is the dashboard that displays all machines in a single table. In this table, we can see a summary of each machine's condition, including the machine name, OEE value, total output, total loading time, total downtime, and the current status, whether it's off, run, or stop. In this dashboard, I've added a pop-up window that shows detailed information about a machine when you click on its row in the table. FlowFuse dashboard provides a group type called dialog, which can be triggered to appear as a pop-up window. Inside this pop-up, we can see more detailed OEE information for the selected machine, such as OEE versus losses, availability, performance, quality, downtime categories, and also the hourly output. By using the table widget together with the dialog group feature in the FlowFuse dashboard, we can create a more interactive and visually appealing dashboard. All machines can be displayed in a single table, making it easy to view their overall summary. And with just one click on any row, the detailed machine information will instantly appear in a pop-up window. This makes monitoring not only easier but also more engaging and efficient for daily production analysis. Now, let me explain briefly how to create it. First, start by creating a group with a dialog type. This will serve as the pop-up window to display the detailed OEE data. Next, set the width of the group according to your layout needs. All widgets that display the detailed OEE information should be placed inside this group. Next, on the table that displays the summary data of all machines, go to the interactive option and select click. With this configuration, when a row in the table is clicked, it will send a payload containing the value of the selected row. In the column section, I also applied some custom configurations to each column to make the table look more attractive and easier to read. Next, connect the output of the table to a change node. This node will be used to extract the selected data and also to trigger the pop-up group. Create a payload similar to the example shown, which will be used to display the group. Make sure the group name and page name match exactly with your dashboard configuration. Next, connect the payload from the change node to the UI control node. With this setup, when a table row is clicked, it will send a payload to show the group dialog. Pretty simple, right? To find the message path sent from the table, you can check it first using a debug node. In my example, when a table row is clicked, it will generate real-time detailed OEE data based on the selected machine. Make sure all widgets that display this detailed data are placed inside the dialog group. For more detailed information about the dialog group, you can visit the official website at dashboard.flowfuse.com under the UI group section. On that page, you can also copy the sample flow to try it yourself and learn how to use the UI group, especially the dialog type. After copying the flow, you can import it into your workspace and then deploy. In this example, the add user dialog button sends a payload to the UI control node to show the dialog group. Once the dialog appears, you'll see a simple form where you can enter a user's name and choose whether they're an admin. When the form is submitted, the change node sends another payload that tells the UI control to hide the dialog again. So basically, this flow demonstrates how to show and hide a dialog window dynamically using a button, a form, and the UI control node. And that's how we can create and control a dialog in the FlowFuse dashboard, a feature that makes our OE monitoring dashboard even more interactive and user-friendly. With this setup, we can quickly check machine summaries, and with just one click, view detailed OEE data in a clean pop-up window. I hope this video helps you understand how to build a more dynamic OEE dashboard using Node-RED and FlowFuse. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. See you in the next video.